Today, I'm gonna to show you the easiest way to create 3D models so that you can 3D print those. So in the past, you had to actually learn how to create 3D models using extensive software and tools, and there was a huge learning curve in learning how to do this. But as of recently, we have some new AI tools that do this in a matter of seconds. And I'm gonna show you the easiest way to create 3D models as of recently, and anyone can do this. So step number one, what we need to do is get an image because what these tools do is they turn an image into a 3D model. And I know that probably sounds crazy, but you'll just have to see the results. So what you can do is just go ask ChatGPT. Hey there, ChatGPT, can you create me a hybrid koala mixed with a panda? All right, so here's what it came up with in a matter of seconds. And then next, what we wanna do here is we wanna download this image. And then step number two, what we need to do next is go to one of the AI to 3D model generators. I'll link some of my favorites down below. But then what you need to do is get into the dashboard of these tools. And there's going to be a section where it says image to 3D modeler. So we can see right here where it says image to 3D. And all we have to do is upload our image and then click generate. So within a matter of seconds, we've created a 3D model. And what's really cool is with a lot of these tools, we can actually do multicolor. And when I say that, I mean, if you have a multicolor 3D printer, you can print it in different colors. I will say that multicolor printing right now, it has a lot of wasted filament, color changes. So that's totally up to you. You can also paint it as well. So then what you can do within these AI to 3D model generator tools is you can actually modify some of this stuff. Say if like some of the colors were off or some of the orientations or segmentation was off, what you can actually do is modify it. I will say there is a bit of a learning curve with that, but you just have to learn each tool in which one you choose. So then step number three, once we're happy with the 3D model that we've created, and again, this, you know, these tools will create a 3D model for you within like 20 to 30 seconds. All you have to do is click on the export button, and it's kind of a big deal in what format you choose to download it in. Like for example, if we want to export the colors here, we'd have to check this, export vertex colors. And if we want the colors to come with it, we're gonna wanna do like the O OBJ file or like the 3MF. But if you're just doing single color 3D printing for your 3D model, just save the STL file. And again, think of these as like formats, almost like images for like the JPEG or the PNG. These are just formats for your 3D model. And again, I'm just trying to keep this simple for you guys. So if you want color to come with it, make sure you export the color settings and save it as a .obj. Or if you want single color, just go with .stl. And again, a lot of these AI to 3D model generators right now, they look very similar. Like here's a different style one right here. I don't want to talk about the names in particular because I have videos breaking that down. I want to keep this video about the easiest way in how to create 3D models for you to 3D print without any biasism on brands and companies. But the workspaces, they all look pretty much similar. All you do is click and upload an image. Here's some of the results. This is a Rick and Morty themed action figure right here, which is pretty cool. This is a penguin that we had. We 3D printed this as well in the channel. I will say that some of the model generators have some setbacks. Like for example, I tried to make a dryer vent right here. And as you can see, it forgot to cut out the inside of the file. And also, well, actually, it did cut out the bottom. So this is probably repairable. Like, for example, this one here, it didn't pop out all of the holes in this filter I was trying to make. So I will say there are some setbacks to the AI model generators. And you can kind of see some of the surfaces get a little wonky with this stuff. So these tools have a feature where you can turn an image into a 3D model. It will do that. And then also, it gets even crazier, guys. Using these same tools, what you can actually do is literally just describe an idea. I'm Almost like you're talking to ChatGPT and you just put it into a prompt like a text prompt and feed it to the tools and it will create you a 3d model doing this like for example an ornate carved wooden throne chair it's gonna cost me 35 credits to do this click generate so here's the results look at this it's insane, like nothing short of insane. And a little piece of advice, when doing these text prompts, sometimes if you don't get good results, what I would tend to do is go to ChatGPT and ask it to help you write prompts. Like for example, I'll just talk to it here. Hey ChatGPT, can you help me write a prompt for an AI 3D modeler in which I want to have it create me a cell phone holder? Absolutely, Chris, here's a clean tool ready prompt. And as you can see, it's a hundred times better than what I could actually do. Create a 3D functional cell phone holder. And it's like 14 sentences long. So then just copy this, paste it into the tool, 
and click generate. And I get a lot of questions regarding if you can sell these 3D print models. And the answer is yes, you have used AI to create a custom file. You can go and sell this, you can use it as your own. By the way, this is a small little Barbie table that we 3D printed for my daughter. So you can tell these tools to make you a 3D model with sentences or prompts, or you can use images to have it turn it into 3D models. By the way, here's the cell phone holder that it literally just made me in about 20 seconds. Absolutely crazy, Chris. But if we look at the big scale of what we're doing here, and like this is super new, like it's absolutely insane. We can create 3D models from an image in like 20 seconds. Again, guys, I'll link my favorite tools down below. Here's another one of a colored French bulldog. This is our friend's dog. We made this for people. And I, you know, I constantly get emailed, hey, Chris, can you make me these 3D models? Uh, my brother died or my dog died, you know, and it's such a cool thing that we can actually do this. Like, I just have to say that, but, but let's move on to the next step. So after you've downloaded your 3D model, all you have to do is click on new project of your slicer because we need to import the 3D file into the slicer that's gonna then send it to your 3D printer, right? So click on the import button. So for this example, we're gonna be using this Koala hybrid. And what you wanna do here is choose the correct colors or if you're doing single color, align that with your filaments. Make sure you have your supports enabled. So enable support, and then what you wanna do is you wanna slice your file. And again, it's really gonna depend on what slicer you're using. You know, there's like 10 different slicers and they all look a little different. This is Bamboo Studio because I'm printing this on a Bamboo Lab 3D printer. So there's some of the supports right there. And then next what you're gonna do is you're just gonna send it to your 3D printer. So we're printing this on the Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. And you can see here, the supports look kind of crazy because they're kind of mixing colors, but this actually turned out quite well. This print took 15 hours. So if you're wondering like how much it's gonna take if you're 3D printing in multicolor, it's obviously gonna be a lot crazier than just doing single color and just painting it. So here's what the Koala looks like finished, right? The 3D model actually turned out quite well. The supports break away pretty easy. I will say there are some layer lines you can kind of see in the 3D model itself, but man oh man, to be able to create this in like a matter of seconds, I think this really opens up the realm for beginners on creating 3D models. This is obviously the easiest way to create 3D models that anyone can do. Again, I'll link down below some of my favorite AI to 3D model generators. And I do know this is probably gonna have some lashback because people have spent years learning this skill on how to create 3D models. But guys, AI is here to stay. And I feel like, I mean, are we just, are we just not gonna use these crazy tools? I don't know, hit me up in the comments what you're feeling about this. I know for beginners, this is super cool.